significant TV, significant stories, significant entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and welcome. Our guest today is Emmy Kirshner, CHHC, Nutrition, Mindset, and Lifestyle Coach. Emmy, welcome to Significant TV. Thank you for having me. It is such a pleasure to be here. Well, thank you. It's my pleasure. I mean, it's always great to hear people share their stories. Absolutely. And your title is very intriguing. Now, okay. I've interviewed lots of coaches. <laughs> but a mindset coach? I'm going to start right there. Okay. How did you decide that that was part of what you were going to specialize in? It evolved. Mm -hmm. um, as a health coach, and the, the CHHC starts or stands for Certified Holistic Health Coach. So mm -hmm. my primary background was in helping people heal with food mm -hmm. and looking at the whole lifestyle, not just one little piece. Um, and with that came how their head's working, what they're thinking about. Um, and, and it kind of plays into emotional eating and mm. you know some of the self-talk and the food guilt that people experience and until we we talk about that and we solve you know those problems sometimes it doesn't matter what I'm recommending that they eat so it, it really has kind of evolved and and that's what my clients who have shown up have needed mm -hmm. and so it, it really encompasses the whole piece all of the pieces that uh, makes total sense yeah. and I don't know if 20 years ago food guilt was recognized. Yeah. I see a lot more of that in the uh, literature. Yeah, and it's, I mean, there's books about it, but I can't even tell you how many times, not even just my clients, but people I know, my friends, like, oh my goodness, if you knew what I ate, blah, 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 you know, and they feel really bad about it. And we've emotionalized food into mm -hmm. it's either you know positive or negative, it's good or bad. Mm -hmm. So I try to take all of that out and let people just experience it as a neutral thing that's part of a nourishing, healthy, sustainable lifestyle. And it should make you feel good. Okay, so you're gonna have to talk more about that. Okay. Because I have gotten past you know, taking the whole half gallon of ice cream and just enjoying it because to be honest, after the first two tablespoons, I'm not really tasting it. Right. But there are times when that half gallon just seems to be the thing. Mm -hmm. um, how do you take the emotion out of food? So we'll talk about, you know, what time you're having the ice cream or whatever it is, mm -hmm. what you're thinking about, what you're feeling. Mm -hmm. A lot of times when we're eating emotionally, we're trying to satisfy something else that's mm -hmm. not there, that's not fulfilling us. So that could be any number of, of things. Um, and then we'll talk about what would be satisfying so that as a practice, because it's not like, all right, I'm not going to eat the ice cream anymore. <laughs> yeah. Oh, darn, I was hoping you could just solve that right away. No, everybody, should, <laughs> if they like ice cream, should have some ice cream in moderation. In moderation, make I it, heard that. Yeah, okay. Make it quality, good ice cream. <laughs> um, it, you know, it's not about not having it. It's about doing something else to satisfy whatever they're looking for and mm -hmm. being honest with oneself about what it is. And that's mm -hmm. a process. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's, you know, after they've eaten half of whatever, they're like, oh, I'm doing it <laughs> right now. <laughs> it's like, all right, Emmy said do this. Mm -hmm. You know, and sometimes just go for a walk. Sometimes they need to meditate. Sometimes they, it, it varies. It depends. Mm. Everybody's very different. Okay. Yeah. Which would be why they would need a coach yes. to, so they can talk about that, so mm -hmm. they can learn, so they can be held accountable, right. and hopefully do some things a little differently. Absolutely, and it's, it really is about taking action mm -hmm. and doing things differently because I think we all know that if you're doing the same thing over and over without results, that, that is chaos and insanity. So right. it's figuring it out. Mm -hmm. um, and I think particularly with the way a lot of foods are marketed, it's difficult to figure it out. So right. I take them through that whole process and everybody's definition of healthy looks different. Mm -hmm. And that's okay, It right? is okay. It is okay it is because, okay because we not, are different. The school I went to, one of the things that they taught us is there's you know over a hundred different dietary theories. Some of them, wow, yeah, some of them are more reasonable than others. A lot of them have great science behind them that say do this and it works. Mm -hmm. None of them work for everybody, mm -hmm. and that's where that kind of that piece is of that bio individuality and that one person really looking at what works for them. Mm -hmm. And then I help them also fit it into their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. you know, so if you're skipping meals, how do we 
resolve that so that mm -hmm. you don't feel like you're crunched for time? Mm -hmm. And how are you honoring your body? Mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we have a great opportunity to create health, but we're so busy on our way to the next thing, we're not choosing healthy foods mm -hmm. um, because we think that it has to be fast and mm -hmm. healthy can't be that. Right. So I definitely can see the integration of holistic mm -hmm. and mindset and nutrition. Right. Take us back to what was that significant moment when you decided, number one, I'm going to be an entrepreneur, and number two, why this? Right. So there's two things. I think mm -hmm. I've wanted to be an entrepreneur my whole life. Mm -hmm. Like I've randomly had ideas as far back as I can remember. Some of them were, you know, a little crazier than others. <laughs> okay. Um, but I, I like working for myself. Mm -hmm. I like working on my own schedule. I like showing up on the days that I want to show up. Um, and that doesn't mean that, you know, I'm not working a lot or as most entrepreneurs either, but it allows me to really manage my life and my kid's life um, mm -hmm. in a way that works for all of us. So I'm there at my son's football games every mm -hmm. week when in season. And I'm, you know, there talking to his teachers and whatever else I need to do. So it allows the freedom I love. Mm -hmm. um, really the catalyst for me in becoming a health coach was when my 17-year-old son, um, as a baby, so this was 16 years ago, um, had digestive problems. Mm -hmm. And the doctors couldn't figure it out. And the last pedi pediatric gastroenterologist said, we don't know, we've run all the tests, wow. give him some more olive oil so that he doesn't lose any more weight and see you later. And I was just like, oh my God, like, what do I do? So I was like, all right, I'm the mom, I'm going to figure it out. <laughs> Get out of my way. And I started reading everything. I started looking at everything that we were eating and really eliminating a lot of foods out of his diet and seeing what worked and what triggered him. And, and um, the result of that is that I ended up healing his digestive system. But it gave me a sense of how powerful food really is. Mm -hmm. So that's, those are my two, I think, moments. Wow, yeah. they're significant moments. They what are. did they the are. doctors say? Now, wait a minute, they're supposed to be the ones that know it. Yeah, um, my, my feelings on that are a little <laughs> different sometimes. Okay. Okay. And it, I mean, he, this doctor, too, it wasn't like, I mean, he just didn't have the answer. He had no idea. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. then and now, a lot of the doctors are misinformed about nutrition. Mm -hmm. It's starting to change, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, a lot of times they're still recommending white rice, white bread, you know, white stuff for digestive issues when oh, that's the last thing you should really be having. Right, because the thought is white is neutral, so it'll be fine it's for equal, the digestive. It's easy to mm -hmm. digest. digest right. It actually causes inflammation. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So, and there's no nutrients to it, mm -hmm. and that's what we need to fuel our cells and to create healthy cells. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's it's fun, and I love it. I, I can I see that. It. I can see that. And yeah. in in a sense, having your first success story be your child, yeah. that's got to be empowering. It is you now. <laughs> then I was just this like frantic Nervous mom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Like, is it going to work today? And you know, I mean, he mm -hmm. was 14, 15 months old at this point. So while mm -hmm. Brian was pretty verbal for that age kid, he's not saying, "Oh, hey, those grapes you gave me, mm -hmm. they're not working today." <laughs> so. It's, yeah, it was, mm -hmm. it's really an interesting time, but I'm so, I'm, I mean, I wish he didn't have digestive issues, obviously, but I'm so glad that, that this is what it's led to, and I can help my clients. And so now he's healthy and able to play he's sports. healthy and, and okay. a typical 17-year-old uh, teenager. 17 -year -old okay. teenager. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, so, and he's, he's good. Good. Yeah. That's how about how about other clients? What do what do clients say to you that help you know that you're making a difference, whether it's in the nutrition or the mindset right. or the health? Uh, within the first couple of weeks, because a lot of my clients come to me because they're exhausted and they mm -hmm. are entrepreneurs, they own their own businesses, and they're mm -hmm. really all about performance and results. Mm -hmm. um, so it's I have energy again. I feel more clear, mm -hmm. and that's fantastic. Um, I had a client today, she's like, you are such an inspiration. So I'm like, thank you. <laughs> Good. Good. Uh, but they just thank me. Like, they are seeing the results, mm -hmm. um, you know, not instantaneously, but within a couple mm -hmm. of weeks, so it makes a big difference. And I, they give me that feedback when we are, are talking during our sessions. Mm -hmm. um, and they see their lives changing. I mean, I think one of the really fun things for me and even you know, better for them is that 
not only are they feel, feeling better, not only are they you know, getting healthier, losing weight, healing from disease, whatever, you know, whatever mm -hmm. it is that's been bothering them, their entire lives are starting to open up in a really positive way, and that's where that mindset mm. piece comes in yes. too. Yes. Where it's it's they have new clients coming in, they have increased mm. sales, they've taken on a whole new project. It it's just unlimited possibility for them at that at that point, and that's uh, it's great to watch them create that. Mm -hmm. So and you know, just and I follow up. I try to stay in touch with a lot of my clients even after we're not working together. Mm -hmm. Uh, and well, and that's part of the beauty of coaching, yeah. Because people can come in a sense with a specific pain or a specific need. Um, there's a period of time where they need that intensive support, and then as the issue gets resolved, mm -hmm. then they can move on and kind of stay in touch, and maybe at another time um, come back. Mm -hmm. What else? What other services do you provide in addition to coaching sure. that people might want to get in touch with you about or that you'd like to, sh to talk about? Oh, sure, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I have individual coaching, and then I also have, it's an online e-course for parents, and it's called mm -hmm. French Fries to Foodies. Okay. And it's designed for the parents of picky eaters or they want their kids to eat more healthfully. Okay. And it's a four module course um, and there's videos and a workbook and it takes them through how to get your kid to eat without mm -hmm. the struggle, without the frustration. You know, everybody's eating the same thing at roughly the same oh, time. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And that's, it's, that's gotta be flying off of the <laughs> click button or whatever. <laughs> I would say it's shelf, but since yeah. it's an online course. Yeah, and so say the name again. French fries to foodies. French fries to foodies, right. okay. Yeah. So it's for the mom or parent parents, that right. may hear, I'm only gonna eat French fries. I'm only gonna eat French fries. I only eat this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever the thing is. Mm -hmm. And I have strategies and ways to help them uh, help their kids mm -hmm. and it's and it's a combination too because we as parents mm -hmm. um, and people I mean just in general but we project all of our stuff onto um, our kids mm -hmm. so when you take a lot of that out all that struggle and frustration can end very quickly mm. and and the reason why I started it was Brian went from <laughs> having digestive problems to right. then not eating anything oh. so he ate at, at four he ate four things and he ate apples, granola bars, yogurt, and uncooked ravioli, frozen uncooked ravioli. Or oh tortellini. my goodness! And I don't that even know how we my got there. Stomach hurt. Yeah, right. right. Okay. <laughs> and we were in this epic battle every night, you mm -hmm. know, dinner time. And I was just like, one day I was like, I am done. I am not doing this. This is ending right here, right now. And I changed everything that I started doing with him, and really started with having a conversation with him, mm -hmm. and with at four understanding what it was that he. Um, why he didn't like certain things. Okay. And he, after a while, I mean, it wasn't like, you know, I could just sit down at the kitchen table and say, so, hey, why aren't you eating steak today? <laughs> <laughs> or your veggies or, you right. know, whatever. Uh -huh. But he, um, what I got out of him was he has a lot of texture issues. Mm -hmm. and, and things are slimy to him that, you know, mm. nobody else thinks is slimy. Okay. But I, once I know that, it's easy to shift that and understand and then help him enjoy other things. Excellent, yeah. excellent. So. Wow, and so if someone were to go to your website, mm -hmm. which I'd like you to share, sure. um, they could actually order this particular course. It's, okay. Yes, they can. So and great can, time to share the website. Say, and they can learn all sorts of fun things about okay. me. Uh, so my website is emmykirshner.com and it's E-M-I K-I-R-S-C-H-N-E-R. -E and I um, actually would love to offer, I have a free download. It's called 18 Ways to Get Healthy Now. Mm -hmm. And it's a checklist of 18 things that you can do that don't cost a lot of money or really fast and they have big results. Mm. And they'll help you get started on your health journey. Excellent. And the website for that is it's emmykirshner.com uh, forward slash 18 ways. Mm. So. Terrific. Yeah. Well, thanks for offering that free download. Yeah. So it's something it's been, inside or kind of thing that yeah. folks can get access well, to. Well, and it's been really Terrific. helpful for a lot of people, so I, I want people to have it. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Fifteen minutes goes by I so know. quickly. Yeah. Um, and I love how you've been just very open and sharing your oh, information. Thank you. Thanks for doing that also on the web. 
Yes. And um, again, I look forward to having you come back. It's That'd very important information yeah. for people to not only know, mm -hmm. but act on. Yes. 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 It affects their productivity and their performance um, mm -hmm. a lot. So. A lot. Yeah. Mm. So. Well, not only is it French fries to foodies, <laughs> but it is about nutrition, mindset, and lifestyle. Our guest today is Emmy Kirshner. You can find her on the web at emmykirshner.com. And thank you for watching Significant TV, significant stories, significant entrepreneurs.